ब्रेन ट्यूमर इज एक्चुअली ए अनकंट्रोल्ड ग्रोथ ऑफ ब्रेन सेल्स इन ब्रेन वी कम अक्रॉस फ्यू टाइप ऑफ सेल्स वेन देर इज अब नॉर्मल ग्रोथ ऑफ दो सेल्स इट फॉर्म्स ए फॉर्म ऑफ ट्यूमर और स्वेलिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड ब्रेन ट्यूमर Mainly there are two types of brain tumor. या तो वो cancerous होते हैं या non cancerous होते हैं अब cancerous की आगे दो variety और होती हैं Cancerous tumor primary भी हो सकते हैं secondary भी हो सकते हैं Secondary उनको कहते हैं जो tumor किसी और part में होता है और वहाँ से वो spread करके brain में जाता है उसको कहते हैं metastatic brain tumor. They are always cancerous tumor. और प्राइमरी कैंसरस ट्यूमर होते हैं और जो दूसरी तरह के ट्यूमर बिनाइन ट्यूमर होते हैं दे आर कॉल्ड नॉन कैंसरस ट्यूमर द मोस्ट कॉमन साइन एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन सिम्टम इन हेडेक हेडेक इज द मोस्ट कॉमन सिम्टम इफ एनी पेशेंट हु इज हैविंग ए ब्रेन ट्यूमर इन एन एडल्ट पेशेंट रिसेंट ऑनसेट ऑफ अडेक विच इज परसिस्टिंग फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इफ इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद वॉमिटिंग देन देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सस्पिशन दैट द पेशेंट माइट बी हैविंग अ ब्रेन ट्यूमर दैट द पेशेंट मस्ट बी सब्जेक्टेड टू ए डिफरेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर द डायग्नोसिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रेस्ट ऑफ द सिम्टम्स दे डिपेंड ऑन द लोकेशन ऑफ द ट्यूमर इफ द लोकेशन ऑफ द ट्यूमर इज नियर टू द ऑप्टिक नर्व The patient may present with uh, blindness or compromised vision. Patient may have weakness in any part of the body. Patient may present with seizures. Patient may uh, present with uh, signs and symptoms of uh, raised intracranial pressure. So these are the common symptoms which arises suspicion of uh, having a brain tumor in any of the patient. the brain tumor is becoming very common nowadays we are coming across so many cases in a survey conducted in 2020 in india there were 28000 patients which were diagnosed uh, with the disease of brain tumors although the incidence is increasing by then now and uh, we are com- coming across more and more patients those who are suffering with brain tumors there are no associated risk factors any person or any patient may develop brain tumors but if we search the literature literature says there is a more incidence of uh, having brain tumor in those patient where the malignancy run in their families suppose if anybody is suffering with any kind of malignancy their sons their daughters or their siblings may have a more chance of having a brain tumor no age is spared from brain tumors brain tumors can occur very well occur in children there are a different varieties of brain tumor which occur in children children they have medullo medulloblastoma primitive neuroectodermal tumors otherwise adult varieties of tumors are different and children do suffer with brain tumor the treatment and the cure of the brain tumor depends on the stage of the brain tumor as i said there are two types of brain tumors malignant and non malignant cancerous or non cancerous benign or malignant so benign tumor depending on their location they can be very well cured if detected early because the total excision leads to the cure of the brain tumor whereas in malignant tumors the everything depends on the grade of the tumor the early we detect the tumor the cure is possible with low grade of tumors but in high grade definitely control is possible and with different modalities of treatment any patient who has a suspicion of having a brain tumor due to the symptoms like headache vomiting seizures visual loss hemiparesis hemiplegia or mental disturbances the mri especially the contrast mri is the investigation of choice for diagnosing the brain tumor the treatment of brain tumor depends on cancerous or non cancerous brain tumor 
surgery is the main treatment for any kind of brain tumor whether this is malignant or this is non malignant then there are other modalities of treatment which are uh, available now after the surgery few types of tumors are subjected to radiation and chemotherapy also and there is a modality which is available which is called neuro radio surgery which is selected for those kind of tumor which are inaccessible for surgery and which are very near to the critical area of the brain those tumors can be treated with neuro radio surgery also recovery of the brain tumor patient depends on the location and the size of the tumor and it also depends on the clinical status or neurological sta status of the patient before the surgery if the neurological status is good and the tumor is located in the periphery the recovery is very fast if the tumor is located in the depth and the patient neurological status is already compromised then the patient may take a bit more time for from recovery point of view